generating instant two cents traffic with the reach campaign on Google. Hey there, friends. Google is still the biggest search engine in existence and a great source of instant low cost traffic thanks to that. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to set up a reach campaign on the Google Ads Network to funnel Google visitors to all your websites and pages at a very, very low cost. Getting started. You can create Google Ads through the Google Ads dashboard. To access this dashboard, go to the ads.google.com URL in your browser while logged in to your Google account. Creating and launching the ad campaign. Once in your Google Ads dashboard, click on the Campaigns tab located in the left-hand menu. Now click on the plus button and then on the New Campaign option. Now it is time to select Reach as your campaign objective. To do this, click on the Brand Awareness and Reach option in the Campaign Goals section. Next, select Display as a campaign type. Now enter your business website's URL address into the Business Website field and then click on Continue. On the following page, enter the name of this new campaign into the Campaign Name field. Now select your locations to target in Locations. If your target location is not on the list, enter the name of your location into the Enter a Location field, and then select it from the results. Now go to Languages, and enter the name of the languages that you want to target into the Enter a Language field, then select them from the results. Now go to the Bidding section. Start by making sure that Viewable Impressions is selected as the bid strategy. Next, move to the Budget section and enter the amount you'll spend daily. Here, we recommend you to start at $5. You'll get plenty of reach and traffic at this low cost. Now scroll down to the Start and End Date section. Here you can select when to start running your ads. Select None if you want to set a schedule so your ads start running right when you set up the campaign. Or select Select a Date to set a start date and an end date. For this example, we'll select None. Now in the Frequency Camping section, you can set a frequency cap to limit the number of times that an ad is shown to the same user. This is a good way to lower your ad spend because it helps you avoid showing the same ad to users that won't click on them. By default, Google optimizes frequency capping automatically, based on how often your ad shows. But you can set your own frequency cap by selecting Set Limit. If you select this option, we recommend that you set the following criteria. Each ad to one per day. For this example, however, we're going to select Let Google Ads Optimize How Often Ads Show to automate our frequency cap. All right, now it is time to set up the ad group. Start by entering the name of this campaign's ad group into the ad group name field. Now move to the audience section to define the audience that you want to see your ads. Start by editing the targeted audiences. Here you can use the search menu to search and select attributes and interest by entering keywords into the search and filter field or by selecting them directly from the menu below. Or you can click on browse to find attributes using the affinity audience, in market, and remarketing menus. Next, click on the demographics tab to edit the targeted demographics. Here you can select gender, age, parental status, and household income bracket to further define your targeted audience. Next, scroll down to the Ad Group Bid section and enter a top of the page bid into the Bid Amount field. Now it is time to create the ad for this campaign. Click on the New Ad button to get started. Next, click on New Responsive Display Ad. Next, click on Images and Logos. Here the platform will scan the website you entered at the beginning for images so you can use them on your ad. In this example, we're going to pick an image from this selection, but you can also upload your own images. You can add one logo and one landscape image to an ad, and you simply have to select by clicking either on Users Logo or on Users Image. You can click on Save after you select your logo and image. Optionally, you can also upload a video by clicking on Video. For this example, we'll skip this to start adding the ad copy. Here you have to add a headline a subheadline into the long headline field, a description, and the name of your brand or business into the business name field. 
Now click on Add to Ad Group to finish this ad and add it to the campaign. Finally, you can click on Create Campaign to launch your instant traffic generating ad. And that's it! Next, we'll be showing you how to create a reach campaign for YouTube too, so stay tuned! Generating instant two cents traffic with a reach campaign on YouTube. Hey there, friends! YouTube is an undisputable instant traffic powerhouse. With millions upon millions of users watching billions of hours of video views daily, you'd be wrong not to advertise your stuff there. That's why, in this lesson, we're going to show you how to set up a reach campaign for YouTube step by step. Getting started! Because YouTube is a Google platform, you have to create your YouTube ads through the Google Ads dashboard. So, start by visiting the ads.google.com URL in your browser while logged into your Google account. Creating and Launching the Ad Campaign Creating an ad campaign for YouTube is very similar to creating an ad campaign for Google. First, click on the Campaigns tab. Then, click on the plus button. Next, Click on New Campaign. On the next page, select Brand Awareness and Reach as the campaign goal. Now select Video as the campaign type. When you select Video as a campaign type, you'll be able to select from a variety of campaign subtypes. To get affordable and efficient reach, select Skippable InStream as the campaign subtype. This campaign subtype allows you to show video ads that people can skip and you'll only pay when someone views the ad. You can click on Continue after selecting this campaign subtype. Now it is time to start configuring the campaign. First, enter the name of this campaign into the Campaign Name field. Now go to the Budget and Dates section. Start by selecting a budget strategy. Here we recommend you to select Daily so you can have greater control over your ad spend by setting a daily maximum. Next. Enter the average you want to spend each day into the amount field next to this menu. Enter a low amount according to how many impressions and traffic you'd like to generate each day. Now go to Languages to select your target languages, and then to Locations to set your target locations. Now it is time to set up the ad group. Start by entering the name of the ad group into the Ad Group Name field. Now move to the People section to define your target audience. First, click on the Demographics tab to select your targeted audience's gender, age, parental status, and household income bracket. Next, click on the Audiences tab to define the attributes and interests of your audience. Use the search menu to search, filter, and select attributes and interests using keywords. Or use the Browse tab to find this data using the Affinity Audience, InMarket, and Remarketing menus. Now go to the Content section to define the content that you'll target on YouTube. What this means is that you'll select the keywords, topics, and placements that define your audience. This will further optimize your budget for relevant, low-cost traffic. Start by clicking on the Keywords tab. Here you have to enter the keywords that you added to your keywords file into the Keywords field. Now click on the Topics tab to select the topic of the videos where you want to show your YouTube ads. Lastly, click on the Placements tab to select specific placements to show your ads. Placements you can select include YouTube channels, YouTube videos, popular content, websites, apps, and app categories. Please keep in mind that selecting high traffic placements can increase your ad spend, so select carefully. Next, move to the Bidding section and enter a top of the page bid into the Bid Amount field. The amount you enter here will correspond to the higher top of the page bid in your keywords file. Now it is time to create your video ad. Start by selecting the YouTube video that you'll use as the ad. You can either insert the URL of the video you'll use into the YouTube video field, or you can type the name of the video to search it, and to select it from the results. Now enter your landing page into the final URL field. 
You can check the call to action box to add a CTA button and a headline to your video ad, but this is optional. Next, select how you'll generate your companion banner. Select Auto Generate to generate your banner using videos from your channel. Or select Upload an Image to upload your own companion banner. Now enter the name of your video ad into the Add Name field. Then click on Save and Continue. Finally, review your campaign settings and click on Continue to Campaign. And that's it! You'll now generate instant traffic at a low cost from one of the most visited websites on the planet. Driving instant two cents targeted visitors to your site with a Facebook ad. Hey there, friends! A reach campaign is a great way to generate instant traffic by showing your ads to as many people as possible. But there's a way to generate traffic directly. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to create a traffic generation campaign on Facebook that you can optimize to get two cents instant traffic on the fly. Creating a traffic campaign. Start on the Facebook Ads Manager dashboard by going to the https colon forward slash forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash ads manager forward slash creation URL in your browser while logged into your Facebook account to go directly to the campaign creation page. Next, click on the traffic option in the marketing objective column. Now enter the name of your new ad campaign into the campaign name field and then click on the Ad Set tab located in the left-hand sidebar. Setting up the Ad Set Let's now set up the Ad Set for this campaign. Start by entering the name of the new Ad Set into the Ad Set Name field. Now select Website as a Traffic Destination in the Traffic section. Now go to the Audience section. Start by setting your target locations in the Location section. Then set the age and gender of your target audience. Now click on the Edit button in the Detailed Targeting section to select the interests and behaviors that you want to target. Next, click on Show More to set your target languages and your connections. For this example, let's select Exclude People Who Like Your Page to help you avoid paying for clicks from people who already engage with your brand on Facebook. Lastly, click on the Save This Audience button. Enter a name for this audience in the Audience Name field and click on Save. So you can use this audience when setting up the following campaigns. Now move to the Budget and Schedule section and set the following configurations. First, select Daily Budget as your budget strategy. Next, enter a budget amount of $5 to $10. Now make sure that Link Clicks is selected as the optimization strategy and then enter the lowest top of the page bid amount in your keywords file into the cost control field. Enter a bid that is between 20 cents to 30 cents. You can now click on continue to move to the next step. Creating the ad. Now it is time to create the ad. First, enter the name of this new ad into the ad name field. Now click on the Facebook page menu button and select the page that you want to represent your business in the ad. Next, select your ad format. This type of campaign allows you to select carousel, single image or video, and collection. Let's select single image or video to set up this example. Now move to the media section to select or upload an image or video to your ad. Now go to the link section. Add your ad copy into the primary text field. You can also add a headline and description to your ad, but these are optional. Now select Website as a destination and enter your website's URL address or landing page URL into the Website URL field. Lastly, preview this ad in the Ad Preview window, review your ad settings, and click on Confirm to submit your ad. It'll start running shortly after, and you'll start sending lots of instant traffic from Facebook to your destinations at the lowest cost possible.
targeting Gmail users with instant to sense traffic display ads. Hey there, everyone. People are more likely to check on content when it is sent to their email inboxes. Because of this, Google has designed a solution for advertisers that want to reach an audience on Gmail, the most popular email service provider in the world. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to easily design an instant traffic generating ad campaign to reach Gmail users step by step. Getting started. Gmail is a Google service just like YouTube, so you have to create Gmail ad campaigns through the Google Ads dashboard. You can go to your Google Ads dashboard by visiting the ads.google.com URL while logged into your Google account. Creating the Gmail ad campaign. Once in the dashboard, click on the Campaigns tab. Next, click on the plus button and then on New Campaign. On the following page, select Website Traffic as the campaign goal. Next, select Display as a campaign type. Now select Gmail Campaign as a campaign subtype. Enter your website's address URL into the Business Website field and click on Continue. Now it is time to start configuring the campaign. First, enter the name of this new campaign into the Campaign Name field. Next, select your target locations and your target languages. Now move to the Bidding section and make sure that Clicks is selected as a bidding strategy. This will allow you to focus your campaign on generating clicks for instant traffic. Now go to the Budget section and enter the average you want to spend each day on this campaign. Now it is time to create the ad group. Start by entering the name of this campaign's ad group into the Ad Group field. Then move to the People section to define the Gmail audience that you want to reach. Start by clicking on the Keywords tab to enter the keywords that you added to your Keywords file into the Keywords field. Next, click on the Audiences tab to define the attributes and interests of your audience. Use the search menu to search, filter, and select attributes and interests using keywords. Or use the Browse tab to filter your results using the Affinity Audience, In Market, and Remarketing menus. Lastly, click on the Demographics tab to select your targeted audience's gender, age, parental status, and household income bracket. Now go to the Ad Group Bid section to enter the maximum bid that you are willing to pay per click. The amount you'll enter here will be the maximum top of the page bid in your keywords file. Now it is time to create the ad. Click on the New Ad button and then click on New Gmail Ad. Now enter the name of your brand or business into the Business Name field. Now add your ad's headline and description. Next, you have to add an asset to your Gmail ad. You can add images, videos, or both. In this example, We'll add images to the ad. Let's start by clicking on the Images button. When using this option, select or upload an image to use as a logo, and another image to use as a marketing image, and then click on Save. If you're promoting a product line and would like to showcase the products in the ad, you can click on the Ad Catalog Images button. You can then click on Add to Ad Group after you are done customizing this ad to add the ad to the campaign. You can create additional ads for this campaign by clicking on the New Ad button and following the previous steps. Finally, you can click on Create Campaign to finish setting up your new Gmail campaign. On the following page, review your campaign settings and click on Continue to Campaign. And that's it! Now you can start attracting instant traffic from Gmail at the lowest cost possible.